A B M Venue. Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer. I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Um, and today I am bringing you a good old thrift haul, but it's not your regular thrift haul, not your thrift store thrift haul. Kind of is, kind of isn't. A couple of weeks ago, um, and you might notice a a lovely thread up box right here. And no, uh, well, yes, this is my Christmas tree, but um, it, it's now my um, Valentine's tree because it just made me so happy having it up at Christmas time that I was like, I'm gonna decorate it for a few other seasons before I take it down. Maybe I'll keep it up all year, who knows? So if you notice, it's got beautiful red hearts it's got little red roses. I am a Dollar Tree fanatic. So I went to Dollar Tree. These were just like plain wood. I um, picked them up, painted them red. The glittery flowers were already there. I already had the red bow at the top. And then one of my co-workers gave me this beautiful arrangement in this cute little jar. So I sat that next to it. So yeah, it looks like a Christmas tree, but it's now my Valentine's tree because just seeing it when I come home makes me so happy. And I can't wait to decorate it for St. Patty's Day, which hopefully will happen, you know, the decorating part of that, maybe early in March. But moving on, a couple of weeks ago, ThreadUp had a sale, and I can't remember the logistics of that sale, like what was going on. But I went on and I just started looking around. The one thing that I have a hard time finding in my area and in my in my neighborhood thrift stores and places that I frequent. Um, I live in Virginia. I live in the capital of Virginia, Richmond. And one thing that I have a hard time finding is swimsuits that are new with tags. Most of the swimsuits I find are used. Some of them are actually pretty worn out. So I don't pick up a lot of swimsuits, but I decided this year, um, since this will be my second summer having having a, um, a reselling business. I'm almost at my one year anniversary of really hard going at it um, full steam. I, you know, I piddled with it before many, many years ago in the first days of eBay um, when I was married, we did a lot of selling on eBay, my ex-husband and I. And then, you know, I kind of got out of it. So it's been like an on and off kind of adventure for me and right now it's like really on. So this summer will be my second summer having this uh, this reselling business. And I told myself I wanted to have more swimwear, but again, finding swimwear with tags on it, which is what I like to buy because then you know that it's not, you know, all used out and all stretched out and the elastic is still in good shape. So um, I looked on ThreadUp, they were having some kind of sale. I looked on there, I, went in and looked for new tags and then I sorted that um I, I picked out yeah I sorted that by um actually I picked out sizes like mediums and larges I didn't um I didn't want you know small small size because they do move very very slowly so I went like medium large extra large and some plus size and then I told the filter to filter it from lowest price to highest price. And I had in my head, don't go over this amount. I had enough points also. I spent enough to get free shipping anyway. And I had enough to get another $10 off my order. So you're about to see 13 items. It's not all swimsuits. There's a couple of tops in here. 13 items that are new with tags. And then at the end, I'll tell you how much I spent and what my price per item is, my cost of goods per item is, um, to give you a good idea. This is kind of an experiment for me. It's not something that I've ever done. It may blow up in my face. It may be a, a, the worst mistake I've made. Maybe not. We'll see. So I think what'll be interesting is get this stuff listed. And maybe, maybe in the midsummer, you know, after I feel like people are done buying bathing suits, purchasing bathing suits, we'll go over these numbers and see, was this a good idea or wasn't it a good idea? So that's what I'd like to show you guys today. So let's get, let's get rolling. 
I have, I already had the paper and everything out of this because I already filmed this video once. I had a coughing fit right in the middle of the video and I was like, okay, no, we just can't do this. So I started over. So you're kind of getting the box already, you know, opened up or whatever. But I promise you, I bought all of this from Thread Up. I didn't just like stuff it with, with weirdness. Um, all right. First thing. Unique 21, which is a Root, I'm pretty sure, Root 21 brand, but it is new with tags, and it is a fantastic size. This is a US 22, size 22. It's got these cute little ruffles, nice little brown and black kind of zebra print or animal print going on there. So yeah, I grabbed that. Still has the sanitary liner in it. Not all of these new with tags bottoms did, but those do. So I was happy about that. Okay, next one is, this is cup she. You'll see a lot of cup she. Um, this is a, I had it. Did I have it the other way before? I don't know how I had it. Um, this is just a swim top. Now these, I'm trying to think. Oh no, it goes like this. It does go like this. I am no good at these little triangle tops. I don't think I ever wore one of these in my life. Um, I'm, I'm a tankini girl. So it's got all these strings. So this set, I've got it tied here so it won't get lost. It's going to feed through here and through here and then tie around the back. But it's new with tags. It's a size large. Cute little, you know, big leaf print, almost like a palm leaf print. I think that's a popular print for swimwear. So, um, I grabbed that. This is the one. <laughs> this one, oh Lord. Yeah. This is just gonna show the fact that I know nothing about bathing suits. I think it should go like this, shouldn't it? Y'all, I need a bathing suit tutorial over here. So, you've got this nice little string that'll tie and a string that'll tie around the back. Um, this is O'Neill. O'Neill, and it, you know what, it probably came from, it's called the Bando Blue something. Um, I wonder if it came from somewhere like Paxson or something like that. I thought they sold O'Neill, but anyway, nice little, like almost like a blue tie-dye or blue clouds, or not blue clouds, white clouds on a blue background. Okay, Jen, with your blue clouds. Um, all right. Oh, I liked this one. This is a um, 99. I have never heard of this brand, but it is new with tags. It is an extra large. And I liked the print. I like the style. I love this string style. Not not for me to wear, but, you know, I think, it's, I think that's popular in swimwear. So extra large. And again, a nice little floral print. Some uh, good smocking detail right here. So I like that as well. So 99 and extra large. All right, <clears throat> next, another cup sheet. I went a little crazy on the cup sheet. Um, I can't remember who I have seen just talk and talk about it. So I went a little bit wild with it. But I like this print. Again, another like tie-dye type print. Um, orange and white. It's a size large. Tags. It's got this cool knotted net feature on the sides, almost like macrame. Is anybody here old enough to remember macrame? My mother taught me macrame. I've made more plant hangers than I can shake a stick at. All right, ThreadUp has this listed as a top. I guess it could be a top. Um, it, so it's not even listed as swimwear, but it, this is Nasty Gal. Um, I grabbed it because I can't, I don't find this where I'm at, but I know some people do pick it up. So this is a size eight. So if it is a top, it's just like a, a little crop top almost. Well, yeah, almost definitely, <laughs> definitely a crop top. Um, so it would look, I think it would look really cute as a top as, you know, going out somewhere kind of top. So there we go. I love the color. I love green. That's my favorite color. So, all right, let's grab another one. I love this one. This is another cup she. Um, 
and it, well, let's see. I like it because it's got that scallop, scalloped bottom and the back will like, I think it'll cross a few times and you know, you can tie it in a configuration that make you look like, I guess, Houdini trying to get out of a straight jacket or something. But anyway, I like the color. This, uh, this color just screams summer to me. It's nice and bright and that makes me happy. All right. Again, another nice bright color, another cup she size large. Okay. Um, padding. I love the knot with the little keyhole right here, ribbon it. And so it goes like this and goes to the back. So I thought this was cute. Again, this bright, beautiful color that just screams summertime for me. All right. This is listed as a bathing suit, but I think it would be the cutest top for going out. And I think potentially it could be a top. I mean, we know that, that Thread Up doesn't always get it right when, you know, they're categorizing things. But look at this. Look how fun this is. Woo! You can dance and have all these ruffles or, or fringe going on. It's not ruffles, Jennifer. Um, you could have all this fringe going on, like, yeah. Um, so that's my thing. Now, I do like this. I think this would look so cute with a pair of like high-waisted shorts or a little mini skirt. I think it would just be adorable. So this is pretty little thing, and it is a size 12. And like I said, thread up had it as a bathing suit. I don't think it's a bathing suit. As a matter of fact, I think one would be miserable if all of these got wet. I just think that would be ridiculous. So I think it's a top, but maybe I can find a stock photo or something. I will look it up and see what it is. Anyway, so there we go. Um, let's grab something else out here. Okay. I was happy to find these listed in there at a reasonable price. Another cup she. Okay, she was on a binge. A cup she binge. Um, nice pair of bottoms. A little bit of ruching on the sides right here. And that's really good if you're a girl that maybe has a little more stomach than you're comfortable with because this tends to camouflage a lot of it. So this is a um, navy blue and white pinstripe. Another great camouflaging technique is pinstripes, not bold stripes. And the fact that they go diagonal, that's another good thing. Anyway, this is a 4X, so it's a great size. And again, new with tags, still have the tags on them. So I was happy to find that for um, a decent price. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is Hobie. So, growing up in Virginia Beach, pretty much every day it was nice. I was trying to be on the beach. We always called this brand Hobie Cat, and it might have been called, it. maybe it was called Hobie Cat back in the day, and they shortened it to Hobie. So, for me, this this brings back memories of um, of my teen years growing up, literally, like, on the beach as much as possible. So, um... It only sold for $27.99, um, but that's okay. Well, that's that might be the sale price. There might be a, a higher price under it. I don't know, but I'm not going to peel it off. Anyway, I like the print. I like kind of that watercolor look to it with all those bright pinks and blues. So, there we go. And if I didn't say the size... It is an, an extra large, I believe. Do -do, what do we got? Yes, it is an extra large, just in case I didn't say the size. All right. Another top. So remember I said I got a couple of tops. Here's one. Um, this is, this was sold at PacSun. It went for $33, PacSun. And it's a Kindle and Kylie. And I just liked this little crop top kind of look uh, off the shoulder, 
long sleeves that tie at the bottom. I'm not even sure what color this is. I, I don't know if it's mauve, brown, brave, <laughs> mound. Um, I have no idea, but I'll do the best that I can. Um, it apparently at some point had something like strap wise that you could connect here and have straps with it. They didn't come with it, even though this does have the tag. So I guess the strap came up missing, but I think that's okay. Um, I still think, I don't think you need the straps. I think you could just wear it like a little crop top. I think I could just so totally see this with like some bell bottoms or flares at a festival. So cute. All right. What else do we have? The FedEx truck just pulled up. I may or may not be waiting on something else. So it might be a 10 pound box of jewelry. Anyway, um, this, I, I have never heard of this. Oat Project Los Angeles. Oat in French means high, as in like, you know, really high up, like on a mountain or something. Oat. So this must have been an important project. Anyway, um, it was new with tags. I love the style of this shirt. So let's talk about the style. It it buttons down, no collar, like a V-neck. It's got this knot front. And it's got true balloon sleeves in that way down here is where the elastic is. It's hidden up in here. And there's the lining of the shirt. So they're going to truly balloon on you, which I love. You've got a red and white pinstripe. And it's either a navy blue or a black, like penciled floral. It's not, you know, it looks like it might have been drawn in pen and ink. Uh, by an art student, which I love. I think that's, this is a very unique looking top. And I just think it would look so cute with so many things. It's a size large. It feels good. It's probably, I, I doubt that it's any kind of like fabulous material. Honestly, it's probably rayon, but uh, it's polyester and spandex. Um, you know, it's going to be easy on wrinkles. You're not going to have to uh, iron it a lot and things like that. So that's a great piece. Do I have any more? That's it, y'all. That is everything. So um, let's grab my numbers. I wrote them down really quick. Um, That was 13 items. After the sale thing that... It was originally going to be, those 13 items were originally going to be 98 something, very close to $99. Um, brain needs to work, and it's not. After the sale they were running, and after I had enough points to get $10 total off of my order, I ended up paying $73.36. If you take that number and divide it by 13 which is how many items I got. That's $5.64 as a cost of goods. That's higher than I normally wanna pay. Now, if I want a 60% return on investment, I would have to sell each piece for $18.62. I don't think that's gonna happen, okay? Maybe, and I'm gonna have to check my chart, maybe I can get a 50% return on investment. Um, and I'll have to look and see what that number is. I'll have to dig around, find that chart and see, um, what I would have to sell it at to get a 50% return on investment instead of 60. I normally go for 60%. So, you know what, if I could sell each for, for $15, I, you know, I'm, I'm making money. I'm not getting the return that I want, but I am still making money, which is the goal of this. And I've got interesting pieces in my closet and to put out on eBay and put out on Mercari. I th um, think it'll be this a learning experience here and a good um, experiment to see. I, I, I'm not going to lie, I got another one coming. I did the same thing, but this time I went to the outlet and I shopped there. So we'll see how that goes. But what I'll do is get... All, all right, I accidentally cut myself off. This should not surprise me or anyone else. Um, I'll get all this listed. Maybe we'll do a summertime check-in. 
like somewhere around July and see, let's see, let's say, let's say it's already March. Okay. Cause this is getting there. March, April, May, June, July. We'll do like a five month, a six month check-in would be August. That would be awesome. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a six month check-in. Um, and see where it is, like how much of it did I sell? How much is still sitting? Um, and that'll be a good gauge as to whether this is a good idea or not. And some of you guys that may have already tried this and you're probably, you might be sitting at home watching this, but it's not a good idea. But anyway, I am trying to get higher quality, better items in my closet, especially things that are new with tags. So this is something I'm trying. I wanted swimwear. I wanted swimwear that's new with tags. So this is what I'm doing. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to get off of here, get to listing some things because I haven't listed anything today. And I will talk to you guys later. A tout à l'heure. Salut. This is Next Day Jennifer realizing that in her last video of the video that I did yesterday showing you guys all the bathing suits I forgot to say if you like thread up unboxings if you like thrift hauls if you like reseller content I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you liked this video me explaining how I went about getting things that were new with tags at a semi reasonable cost if you like things like that um, and if you liked this video and the way it was presented, please give me a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day.